Friends will come, friends will go They all seem to change While I'm still the same Cause I just can't let go And there's no one to blame It's just the way it is Like stone Emotionless in this world of stone Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brenda Lynn and today we're building this super cute cozy fairy cottage. Of course I got this inspiration off of Pinterest because would it be me if it wasn't from Pinterest? No, it would not. So this was actually like a actual fairy house, like the kind that you put in your garden. And I think it is so cute. I cover it in moss at the end. We like put little vines all over it or vines ivy not moss but I think it's so cute and this front door I pick ugh, we used it in Kishi cafe but I used it in a different swatch I did use a different swatch so I'm not repeating too much but it was the only door that would really fit and it has sunflowers on it and that's what gave me the entire inspiration for the inside of the build everything in here is sunflowers sunflower craziness I love it but I also made the I feel like I made the cutest granny for this I don't know why I said it like that I don't don't ask but the little granny I imagine that like she's just like madly obsessed with sunflowers and flowers in general she has her sweet little ragdoll cat and twitch actually requested that I start uploading my oh, aren't isn't that like roof detailing so good and then I use like the realm of magic window up here with more flowers Ugh. green and yellow is the entire inspiration from this build for this build based on the front door um but <laughs> twitch has actually asked me to start uploading my characters as well to the gallery from the little machinimas so she will be on the gallery. She does have CC, so I will try to link all of her CC in the Discord um, when I get a chance to do so. But if you want her and her custom content, you can find it on my Discord. Also, if you want to hang out with me more often, I am on Twitch four days a week now. Uh, give or take, depending on how like tired or what life is like that week. But my plan, my intention is to be on there for Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Wednesday is my day off and so is the weekend. Uh, Fridays I will be uploading, well okay, I don't know for sure Fridays, but I will be uploading one day a week here on YouTube for sure and then maybe a second day as well. So it's either going to be Tuesday or Friday. This week it's Tuesday. Um, I feel like Tuesday might be the easiest day for me, but also Fridays is normally when I get the video out, so I'm not really sure. <laughs> it's still a work in progress trying to figure out how, when, where, what. Um, I think once I get used to YouTube in general, it'll be better. I almost used that yellow linoleum. I thought it would be so cute in the kitchen. And it's the kitchen kit not the cutest thing I really love it also the linoleum tile we're gonna pretend is tile not linoleum and it's like cracked uh I lived in an apartment that was like older and it had flooring just like that and it was not linoleum it was real tile but we don't have tile like that in the game so we're gonna say that's tile and not linoleum okay okay and then the little green couches, it's kind of giving me frog vibes, but also fairy. Originally, this was supposed to be a fairy cottage, but without using Realm of Magic, which I use a lot in my builds, um, I couldn't really make it very fairy-ish. So it's more just fairy inspired. And I gave her a reading nook. You can fill it with clutter if you want to. I was tr I actually built this last Friday. Uh, in hopes to get it up Friday, and I didn't quite make it. 
last week was my anniversary, and that's kind of where I was all last week, was spending time with my husband and my daughter and just being together as a family on top of streaming. And then um, over the weekend, we celebrated some more. So that's where I was last week. I didn't get this done in the amount of time I was hoping to, but... I think that this build is super cute. If you guys put this in your game and you guys use this, please tag me on Instagram, Twitter, post it in the Discord if you're part of the Discord. You can find links to all of those in my link tree, which is on my um, channel uh, in the header, I believe. And yeah, I, I would love to see. I imagine that these couches are soft, like almost like velvet or something. Obviously, they're probably like a satin, but... There's like one image that makes me think it's like a velveteen couch and it excites me. I'm not sure why, but it does. <laughs> but, oh, I love these couches and the little llama rug. Get out of here. I can't. I have an affinity towards llamas and yes. So here's some more sunflowers. Lots of sunflowers. Lots and lots. Hopefully I finished all the thoughts I had started. I know that that was a lot to handle for a minute. The one thing I did struggle with with this build is art. Like, without it being too gaudy or, like, not the right fit. Art was kind of hard, especially in the bedroom. The kitchen and the living room, not so much. But in her bedroom, I really struggled to find a good art piece that kind of matched her vibe. And the things I settled on in there are not good. So if you do put this in your game and you change the artwork in the bedroom, please show me what you do. Because I need some inspiration when it comes to art <laughs> sometimes. I tried to download some off of the gallery. I didn't put it in the video. I edited it out because I didn't use any of the ones. But none of them really looked right. I should have Googled sunflowers though, or search for sunflowers. Instead, I just put flowers and it just didn't. It didn't work. So we're carrying the green throughout. We have the same wallpaper throughout. We give her a cute little desk, and I kind of nod towards the fairy aspect with the desk, but I also give her, like, that old-school Beauty and the Beast dresser armor, armor, <laughs> armor, I think was really nice. And that mirror, like, this, the room came together beautifully, I think. It's just the art. And I even use, it's very, you know, Princess and the Frog-esque as well. I feel like you could get away with like using this in a Princess and the Frog inspired build. But I end up using like the the circle, the wreath, I thought was cute, but I use like the paper flowers on one wall and the knitting like cross hatching flower on the other wall. And I wish I would have used something else, but everything else was like not the right theme. Like I wanted it to be more nature, but not like travel-y and not like art museum-esque. And anything with like a nice wooden frame was either of those things. And then also, you guys, do you see that? I started using the red shelf mod. What? Who is she? I love it for placing clutter. It's amazing. Where was I this whole time? I don't know. You're going to see me pile a bazillion books on this desk so that I don't have to keep moving it back and forth and back and forth. Uh, so basically what happens is when you pile, like when you fill all the slots of an item, you can then clutter it with like the tab button or if you have red shelf, if you have it without having, you can like alt place things without them clipping. And so you don't have to like move the desk, alt place it and then move it back. You can just keep it where it's at. Uh, and then you just delete all the things that you placed. This works really well on counters too. The only ones it doesn't work well on are the new snowy escape ones because those counters have so many dang slots, which I'm not complaining about, but cluttering them can be a little bit frustrating. But yeah, how was everyone's weekend? Tell me in the comments below, what'd you guys do? Did you have a good weekend? Oh, I love this build so much though. So. I say that on every build. I'm so sorry. I just love the vibe, you know, like the cottage core vibe. I love that vibe. Like if I could live like a hobbit, dress like a hobbit, be a hobbit or in the Shire somewhere, some way. I love it. Like if you are here on YouTube, if you watch Rachel Maskey, I love it. I love her and her aesthetic. And I'm like teaching myself how to sew like her so I can dress like a hobbit and 
honestly, cottage court is so cute. If it didn't mean completely redoing the entirety of my apartment, I would totally decorate it cottage core. But I can't. <laughs> I don't have the money for it. Also, though, look at what I'm trying to do here, okay? I'm trying to use more natural not natural, but like realistic lighting. Instead of saucer lights everywhere, I'm trying to use sconces and lamps and like make things more aesthetic and vibey. But you know, oh, and then I put the chicken in the kitchen. I forgot to mention that. I love little chicken. But see here, like the pieces that fit there, they don't fit the vibe. Like that one really expensive piece of art, I don't think she would have that in her bedroom. So I want, I wanted more flower based things, but in a really nice frame and we just don't have that. So, you know, I make it work, but I don't think I did the best job in the bedroom. But here's where we start making it super cute and like overgrown and like the most cottagey, you know, I wish we had like a water wheel in Sims. Wouldn't that be so stinking cute? And this lot, this lot's in Windenburg. It's over by, like, it's over, uh, it's not on, like, the main area of Windenburg. It's, like, over by, who lives over there? The Bajor, the, uh, I can't ever, ever say their house. Um, I think the Freys live over there. The, Fr you know, Morgan and them, they live over here. <laughs> but I love this little lot. It's a really fun lot to build on. Smaller builds like this or like really naturey builds. I put a lot of tiny homes on this lot. Because it's just like the perfect lot. Excuse me. I was trying not to like cough in your ear. My cold is still kicking strong with this cough. But I'm just basically landscaping again. I was laughing to myself while I was building this thinking like, oh my gosh, they're probably so sick of seeing me place flowers. Okay, and then another hint towards the fairy-esque thing is the wishing well. I put the wishing well in here um, as like a nod to the magic of fairies and like, you know, <laughs> without it being realm of magic it was the best i got and then her sunflower garden look at this gorgeous sunflower garden i could only imagine how cool it would be to take pictures on this lot like selfie heaven here with all these giant sunflowers but yeah i don't know what do you guys think what do you guys want to see from me next do you want to see more community lots um if you come watch my twitch uh, I am, like I said, I am streaming over there more often and we're doing game. I do all my gameplay over on Twitch because I like live interaction more than I like, like delayed interaction. Right now we're doing a rags to riches and sometimes we build over there too. So, uh, come hang out. But for the most part, I build here gameplay there. I also play other games like Stardew Valley and my time at Porsche. So again, that's 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. I will be uploading here once a week, most likely on Tuesdays or Fridays. I may be uploading more, but only hold me to one upload a week for right now. If you guys get extra, it's a bonus. But yeah, you guys, I think that's it for me. I'm gonna go before I start hacking a lung out again. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Let me know what you think about this build or what you guys wanna see next. I love you all so insanely much thank you so much for watching and like participating in this video join the discord find me on all the socials come hang out with twitch like comment share subscribe you know you know what to do you know how to do it here comes the pictures you guys have a great rest of your rest of your week have a great weekend if i don't talk to you before then and i love you all so much bye